What's going on guys? We got Pokemon Mystery Mail Day number 59. This is almost a redo because I had already done this video. Um, there were a bunch of cards I talked about uh, as well as a theme deck and I'm just going to review the theme deck real quick uh, as this is an entirely new video but uh, my wife accidentally deleted that content. Um, so I'm just going to go over what was in that video real quick because nobody got to see it. Um, so there were some cards, but they really weren't that important. So I'm not going to spend any time on them because we got to get through a lot of stuff here. We got a lot of boxes, a lot of packages, a lot of exciting stuff. Um, mainly was this Misty theme deck. This is like my fifth, my sixth Misty, uh, my my sixth Misty sealed theme deck. Uh, it's got the KB toy sticker on here, the original hang tag. It's mint condition. I won an auction $130 for this deck. That is a fantastic deal. Fantastic price on a mint condition Misty Steam deck. Let's move forward, guys. Off to a strong start, though. Um, let's get these. Uh, let's get these singles opened up and ready to go. So we got our trusty Husky right here. All right. Um, this is definitely pretty rigid. Okay. Let's see how fast I can go through this. Hopefully, I don't slice my finger open because. Definitely going to be racing through these packages. All right. I want to get better about that. I definitely want to get better about being able to get through this stuff quickly and not having the videos go way too long. Um, especially because people just don't have all that time to watch that content. But, uh, okay, first things first. First things first. Um, super excited about this card. It is a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Um, I had one of these as a kid. It's really, really important to me because my aunt got me this card. Uh, the uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Masters Guide, I think it was. It came with the Starter Deck Yu-Gi, Starter Deck Kaiba, no boxes. And then it came with this sealed uh, DMG Dark Paladin. This card is absolutely epic. This one is actually still sealed. It is beautiful. Um, I was able to work out a deal for this card for $85.00. That is an insanely good price. I just saw one that was in mint condition, but it was used and open, go for about $80 in bidding. So I'm very happy with this card. Um, I am looking for creases, damage, anything of that sort. Nothing. We got nothing. We got no damage here. There could be surface scratches because it was in this package for a long time. Um, but I am looking for creases. I'm looking for anything that could change the grading of this card. I don't think I see anything. This card looks beautiful, and I think I'm going to keep it in this exact case like this. Uh, it is really a nice prime example of the DMG Dark Paladin. These cards are super underrated, in my opinion. Dark Paladin is, is one of the sickest Yu-Gi-Oh cards of all time. Uh, it's badass. you got Buster Blader fused with Dark Magician. Doesn't get much better than that. Get the external lighting on that. Just look at that prismatic hollow that is just beautiful absolutely beautiful card highly recommend you guys check this card out see if i can get that uh near that camera does have a lot of sleeving over it uh plus the plastic it's sealed in uh but this card is absolutely beautiful um honestly i'm not even worried about grading if it's in the plastic this card is probably a nine or a ten let's just keep it that way um all right so into the next thing Still not great on time. Already four minutes in. Where does this time all go? I guess I got to start editing my videos, but I'm super lazy about that. So a lot of them are raw. All right. We got uh, Brian. Uh, Brian M. Appreciate you. I'll make sure to leave feedback. If you guys, if you don't have your eBay store and I haven't shouted out the eBay store, feel free. If you are subscribed or checking out the channel, feel free to leave a comment below with your eBay store linked. Uh, let's get into it. So I, I'm not sh exactly sure what the eBay name was, but I'm pretty sure I know who this is. Yes, I got a bunch of cards from this guy um, for sure. All right, first up, first up we have a, uh, oh, son of a B, son of a B. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it. So right off the bat, guys, I, I overpaid for one of these cards. Um, this really sucks cause it was only like eight bucks, but it's definitely in terrible shape. So I, I, I lost money on this one. Uh, this is a Pharaoh's servant, uh, Buster Blader. 
this is a really iconic card. This is one of the first hollows that I ever pulled in Yu-Gi-Oh! So that and Dark Paladin are really special. This is another Dark Paladin here that I wanted bidding for about $40. I wanted one that was raw, that was in decent shape. Um, and even this one has a teeny tiny little uh, crease at the bottom. Definitely thought that these cards were going to be in a lot better shape. This seller seems to be able to sell cards really, really easily. Uh, they said don't bother with a shout out. Honestly, I'm not surprised why they wouldn't want me to bother. There's nothing really crazy great about these cards. Um, the price I paid was not anything like super below value. I paid decently for these cards. And it just goes to show sometimes you're not going to catch everything um, in the cards. Uh, this one, for example, is you guys can catch that. It's got a crease going through the entire card. That really sucks because you can get this card mint for 15 bucks. And I probably paid like six, seven, eight dollars and it's got a freaking crease going through it. So that's a lost cause there. This Dark Paladin is pretty nice, but I'm really glad I got my hands on a sealed one because... Uh, this one, you guys might barely be able to tell, but this corner here is creased. I didn't even see that, so it's just... And also, you have really no guarantee you're getting the exact cards out of listings or auctions. I'm sure these are the exact cards, but these are surprises to me. The damage on these cards are surprises to me. Um, Alright, so this Shonen Jump Blue Eyes, White, uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon does look good. I have a creased one that I'll be selling here shortly um, that I will let people know is creased. Um, but yeah, this looks really good. We'll get the external lighting on that. Not a crazy hollow by any means, but definitely a key card you want to have in your collection. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. It's pretty badass. Um, uh, we got Thousand Knives. We got PCY. So there's a Blue Eyes in PCY. Um, yeah, this one looks okay. I think it was like $5 I paid for it or something like that. Just a cool card to have in my collection. Uh, we've got Exodia the Forbidden One. Uh, this is Dark Beginnings. Um, Dark Beginning One, but it is the reprint. It's got the EN. I just learned about reprints, so I didn't know that it was a reprint. Uh, I paid like $10 for this card. Um, not a crazy deal by any means. Definitely will stay in my collection. Doesn't look like there's any bad wear on it, but... And I'm sorry, it is Pokemon Mystery Mail Day, but we got a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! coming in too. Um, we've got this, I actually got a good deal on this one, and yep, and there's a crease. Gosh, dang. Oh, there's like little creases on like every one of these cards, which really sucks because it doesn't make me all that happy about these purchases. Um, it's been a while since I felt bad about purchases. In terms of Pokemon, I'm really, really good about picking things out. But it seems like with the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, with these borders, these dark borders in comparison to the yellow borders on Pokemon cards, I feel like it's harder to catch flaws with the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So maybe I'll just have to take a break with Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I was getting excited to build a position in the hobby, but I seem to be making bad plays here. Um, and I'm sure these cards will sell in my Mercari store, but that's not the point. I didn't buy cards that I wanted to sell. I bought these because I thought they'd be great for my collection. Uh, this is uh, Pharaonic Guardian, I think, or Pharaoh's Guardian. Um, not entirely sure. It's PGD. It is an older set. It's not a reprint. It is a secret rare. I think I got this for $12. Um, yeah, and there's a tiny little tiny crease in the bottom corner. Um, overall, still happy with it. Uh, it's just really hard to catch a legitimate good deal out here. All right, moving on. Um, Kendra Thompson. I think I know who this is. I think I know who this is. Gosh dang, already nine minutes in. It's crazy. Uh, enjoy. She put a little smiley face. Let's get into it. Let's see what we got here. Not doing great so far. Not doing great so far. I mean, the Dark Paladin was sick. The Dark Paladin was sick for sure. Um, but... The other cards were a waste of my time and money. And I just, I wanted to get multiple cards to save on shipping from that seller, but that was kind of a bad idea. Um, also, when the seller is really, really good and reputable, I usually will remember the seller name right off the bat. But um, again, if, I, if I'm not, if I don't see the store on there, which sometimes they, they have the store on there, sometimes they don't, um, just feel free to leave a comment Leave a comment in the video. Uh, we've got this 
We've got this um, BPT008 Buster Blader. So this is from the original 10 run uh, Buster Blader. This is a fantastic condition card. Uh, the sleeve is a little weird, but I don't think that's the actual card. I think it's just all the sleeve. Um, yeah, that's basically a near mint card. And it's got the prismatic secret rare hollow on there. Really a beautiful card. Love Buster Blader. All right, moving on. All right, we've got our envelopes. Uh, Tyler Fuller's, I do believe this is Neo Moon. I do remember this seller because they are a big seller. I've been really pretty much happy with everything I've gotten from this seller. And we've got a stack of cards to go over here. Um, first things first, I don't have this card and I think it is amazing. It is an awesome artwork for a card. Uh, we've got the Black Star Promo Arcanine. I'm really happy to add this card to my collection finally. Been a long time coming. I think I spent $10 on that card. Uh, oh, and they threw in some extra goodies. Oh, that was really nice of them. They did throw in some extra goodies. That was really nice of them. Uh, we got a Psyduck from Fossil set here. No big deal, but it is a free card. Um, and then, whew, I didn't know if this was coming in the mail or not, but here it is. We've got our Gengar. There's a sticker on there. I'll take it out real quick and just flip it on the other side of the sleeve. This is, this is an LP card. It looks like, and that is from Legend Maker. Yeah, so this is a Legend Maker Gengar. Uh, this is one of my favorite, uh, just kind of non-chase card, baseline hollow. Uh, in that set. I really love Gengar. Um, I think I got a good deal on that one, but I can't tell you off the top of my head. And then they threw in a free Wiggly Tough Base 2. That's always nice to get free cards like that. Um, appreciate you so much, Neo Moon. Moving on, I think more Neo Moon cards. Let's get into it. All right, we've got a Faded says faded on it blue eyes white dragon starter deck kaiba this is our Yu-Gi-Oh. okay i just need to be able to get this card out of here without messing it up all right got our sdk 001 it looks really really good i'm gonna get this card in a clear sleeve asap don't care that it's faded that part really doesn't matter all that much to me um, yeah, this is one of the cleanest, this is the cleanest one in my collection probably at this point. Uh, this is a lightly played card. Looks like there's damage on the back, which is a bummer. It's definitely a bummer because it's such a nice card. This is one of the most iconic cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! In my opinion, uh, it is beautiful. The Blue Eyes White Dragon from the Starter Deck Kaiba. Really a nice card. Really highly recommend going after that card if you get back into the hobby. Um, I would love to build a position that is just primarily blue eyes, white dragons like this. It is really a beautiful card. I'm going to get this in a nice, clean top loader ASAP. The back of the card is damaged. Not sure if, if that makes it LP or moderately played, but the card was listed as lightly played. Um, it is a really nice example though. The front of this card is amazing. I just wish the back didn't have that damage to it, but you can't beat them all. All right. Let's see. We got, uh, Bebo Stuffs. So someone did put their eBay, uh, store link in there. Um, their store name in there. So that was easy. Okay. Does not look like there's anything else. And let's see, huh, this is weird. So the one that was creased, maybe I knew it was creased. I don't think that I did, but um, let's get this card out and examine it. So I got this card for, I think like $7 or $5 maybe. It has a crease on the end, but not nearly as bad as that other Buster Blader. The other Buster Blader was a, a PSV. Uh, this is a BPT Buster Blader. 
Um, the back is super played, but again, prismatic, secret rare, looks freaking fantastic. Uh, but the back does show a lot of wear here. Um, let's keep it moving. Can hear Aspen running around the house right now. Okay, let me get some mail. All right, so let's get this box. We've got two boxes left, two big boxes left. I am making great time here. I'm not proud of this uh, mail day so far though. It's really not, it, it really wasn't all that hype and the Yu-Gi-Oh community, <laughs> those those pickups definitely are not my, uh, are not my, uh, my best purchases, you know. I could have definitely done better. We'll reuse that box. All this trash, keep that over there, that over there, some top loaders. All right, got this in a bubble mailer. And uh, who was this from? Uh, CMC cards, okay. I don't think they know that I don't care about the packaging or if it says a little thank you sticker on there. That didn't take any time. I mainly want to make sure I'm getting cards that are in the proper conditions. And I don't even I don't even make a fuss. All right, here we go. All right, I do remember doing a deal with this person. Uh, this card is mint condition and looks freaking amazing. Guys, wow. All right, here we go. Also, it was not cheap. I paid $40 for this card, but definitely one of the best pickups I have here. This is definitely a near mint card, Dark Sage. Looks really fantastic. That prismatic hollow is beautiful on these secret rares. Um, and I'm not sure exactly uh, what set this card came out of. Um, let's see, DOD002. I really couldn't tell you where this card came from. I can't tell you off the back of my head, but it is a beautiful card. Really wanted to have it in my collection. Now we got it. And I've got a lot of stuff here, so I'll just put this stuff up for sale and we'll see what happens. Hopefully I'll be able to get it sold. If not, no big deal. I'll either gift some of this stuff down the road. Um, you know, I can't even really complain all that much. It's really just, like everything honestly was fine. Everything honestly was fine. Um, it was really just, where's that PSV? Where did that PSV go? Oh, here it is. It's really, this is the only one that, I'm, that I wasn't happy about. Look at the condition of this card. I'm not sure if I, if I got this for free, maybe this was gifted. I'll have to look into my bids and see if I paid for this. Cause I have a hard time believing that I would ever pay for a card like this. That's in this kind of condition. I mean, look, that crease is going through the entire card. I just, uh, it's going through the entire card. I just think it's highly unlikely I bought a card like this. And it's really the only thing that I'm not proud of. So I'm hoping that this was a card that I got for free. So I have to look into those sales. PSV, Pharaoh's Servant, Buster Blader. I have to check into that. All right, very excited for this box. I know for fact that it's Pokemon, even though it is a mystery mail day. I'm not technically supposed to know what's coming, but I have a good idea. Okay, I don't know how. Let's see if I can just. All right, all right, here we go. Here we go. Just trying to get into this as quickly as possible, guys. Bear with me. I've been wanting this booster box for so freaking long. I don't even know how I'm going to fit it, but we're going to make it work. Okay, and I am bidding on another booster box that they put up recently. Um, I believe the seller name was Polar Express. Um, let's see, is that on there? Let's see. Nope, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. Um, eBay store name was like Polar Express, something like that. Um, now, this is like a niche thing. Like, there are definitely people that bid on the empty booster boxes. But it's this is one of the most sought after uh, booster boxes out there. Really hard to find them used. So the condition is good on this box. Um, not as good as I'd like, but could be worse for sure. 
and of course there is a tear on it. I paid, I paid too much. I paid too much. So I think I paid $120 on this box and there is a tear. No, I'm going to take it out of this, uh, this, this holder thing. I can figure out how to get this thing out. All right. It's nice. I got a free case for 120 bucks. Jeez Louise. All right. Um, yeah, everything else looks good, but this is a huge bummer. And I did not see that. You see that, guys? So that is, uh, that's ripped. That's ripped right there. Um, that's damaged the box, which really sucks. And, oh, wow, there's nothing extra in there. Cool. Um, you know, it's credible sellers. You know, they, you got to have some responsibility in maybe hooking it up a little bit. You know, if you can't hook up the price, maybe throw a little something extra in there, you know? Um, I'm going to bid on another one and find another one that's in better condition than this. It's still nice, but this is just, it's a huge bummer that there's, there's a tear right here. You know, if I press it, if I press it back, you can't really see it. But once you just move this a little bit, you can see that it's torn right there. Uh, the only reason I'm pretty anal about this one is because it was $120, but it's not the worst thing I've seen. There's this one seller. Um, there's this one seller. Oh, what was her name? She was so rude. What was her name? She was so rude. Um, which that's amazing that like sellers can be so rude and get away with still making sales, like just being rude asses to their customers. Um, I wanted to buy this box for like 250 bucks and basically they would not budge anywhere under 400. Come on. Are you serious? So this is the other horror story. There's a friggin' there's a deep cut along this thing. It's like somebody wanted to open the booster box, but they just, they missed, you know, under the edge and they just ended up nicking the side of it. So this is my other horror story. I mean, it's such a beautiful box still similar to this one. They're really, really nice boxes, but that, that one piece of damage, you know, it can make all the difference when you're paying a huge premium on these boxes that are friggin' empty. It, oh, let me get that back in there. It really hurts when they're not in, you know, pristine condition. It really hurts. So this one is, you know, close enough, but you know, maybe I can just put a little bit of glue on there and actually glue that back together. It's probably very possible. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm, if I have the guts to try that, but here you have it guys. This is the team rocket, uh, booster team rocket returns booster box. I have a lot of the cards for this set, so it'll be cool to fill this box up with those cards. Um, we've got our Scyther on the back, our Mewtwo up top, Tyranitar on the front, and you've got Gyarados on the side. Let's see who's in the back. We got Jesse, we got James, well, Jesse, James, um, Anyways, super nice box. Been wanting this box for a long time. Um, great for display. And it'll be up here with the rest of them. Um, okay, I will add... Oh, dang it. So for a second, I thought this was the wrap for the booster box, and I got really excited. I was going to be like, I will add. They added the original wrapper. No, no. And... Yeah, no. And uh, yeah, no. And there's there's nothing there's nothing nothing else uh nothing extra in here. Yeah. Okay. Man, these sellers just I don't know if they just don't like me if I'm like, "Hey, I'm a YouTuber. I unbox stuff and do reviews." But it's like it's like I if I knew someone was going to be doing stuff on video, I would definitely if it was being recorded, I would definitely want to put my best foot forward. Okay. $120 for that booster box. Ridiculous. Okay. So this is the most exciting thing here. And honestly, I can't see how it wouldn't go well. I paid $260. This was listed at $500 for all of these. Um, and by all of these, I'll show you guys what I mean here in a second. Get this box open. It's freaking ginormous. As it should be. 
There's a lot of stuff in here. Okay. Oh. All right. You got these sitting on top. Get those out of the way. All right, first things first. I made this purchase to kind of catch me up with the hobby. Um, so we've got the original Master Collection, uh, and this thing is minty fresh. So we've got this guy right here. It's minty fresh. It's got this magnetic uh, pull tab on the back. Um, in ancient Egypt, there existed a force so powerful it had to be locked away for millennia. Now, one boy has released the power. It's time to duel. Um, so you'd open this up and you would get the cards in the master collection, the first master collection. I actually have uh, almost all of these cards in this master collection uh, as I've been collecting again recently. But this is just a cool piece to have. Uh, I'm going to try and find some space up on the top shelf. I've been clearing stuff away on that top shelf up there. As you can see, it used to be totally full up there. I'm going to try and make way for a lot of this Yu-Gi-Oh stuff to fit up there too. As it's a TCG channel, it's not all Pokemon. There is going to be Yu-Gi-Oh, but it is primarily Pokemon. Um, so let's, I don't want that to get damaged. Set that off to the side. All right, next thing. All right, let's open up. All right, so I don't know what's going to be in order, but I'm going to go for this. I'm going to go for this box right here. Um, I love that everything is, is taped up. I also love that I got a bunch of free boxes. All right. Okay. There's just so much packaging. I don't even. All right. So let's go ahead and get into this since we've already got it open. You guys should be familiar with this. If you're big Yu-Gi-Oh fans, you will definitely be familiar with this. We've got Shadow of Infinity, um, Cybernetic Revolution, Flaming Eternity, which is relatively old, Elemental Energy. And let's see, is there, okay. And we got even older ones on top of that. So let's go ahead and get these booster boxes out um, so that we can review them and check them out. Uh, this looks like a lot of a lot of pretty newer newer ones though um this flaming eternity is very minty really a beautiful box um and again i paid 260 dollars for all of these there's 27 boxes here so roughly 10 dollars a piece pretty much a score for me these could be in any condition and they're actually in great condition um great display pieces really beautiful um Let's see, this one's got a little bit of creasing, but overall, really nice condition. I'm not sure how I'm gonna fit these, but I'm gonna try and fit all of these on the shelving. Again, I don't know how I'm gonna make it work. They might go in my storage bins for a long time, just so I can know that I have all the OG uh, booster boxes. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys, because I think it's super cool. I think it's a really niche thing to be collecting. Most people don't collect the boxes, but it's a lot easier to go after these single cards and to go after the boxes to fill them with. Uh, we've got Enemy of Justice here. This box is in really, really good shape. God, this just takes me back, guys. I remember going in a Blockbuster, picking all of these types of packs up. Look at this, beautiful. Rise of Destiny, beautiful. RDS here, okay. And I've been recently filling a lot of the old school binders, so it was cool to get these in. Uh, the Lost Millennium, really cool here. Not sure why it took people so long to uh, try and make a move on this purchase, but you know, it's whatever. Uh, I guess nobody really made a good offer. Okay, so here's where it gets bad. So then you get into the older booster boxes, the ones that honestly matter the most. And like Legacy of Darkness, this is a really important box in my opinion. Um, I believe it is in the set list, it's number five, I think, five or six potentially. Um, as you can see right here, it's damaged. It's ripped, which sucks because this is more important than the ones we just, we just saw. Uh, it is an old booster box, so I'm gonna give it that. It is damaged. Uh, maybe we can bend it back a little bit. You know, I'm sure we can make this work still. Um, but it is definitely 
a bummer. Don't want to get damaged stuff in like this. It did say that in the listing that the conditions were going to range from, you know, mint condition to being damaged like this. Um, so it's definitely nothing. It's not news to me. I definitely was like very curious on how this was going to turn out for me, but still it's a nice booster box. If you bend stuff back into place, it looks good as new. Um, in this case, it actually does look pretty good still uh, from the front. Uh, but Legacy of Darkness is a really sick set. You've got some really cool cards in there. Um, notably, on the side here... Um, oh, man. Notably, on the side here, it's a little bent in, but you've got Tyrant Dragon right there. Okay, let's get this open. Man, I'm sweating. It's just, it's so much stuff to get through and I'm trying for the video to not be hella long. And of course, the most important booster box is like destroyed. Um, but this is, I expected this. I expected this fully um, with these, with these uh, older booster boxes. I definitely expected there to be damage. Um, gonna try and see if maybe I can bend some of this stuff back into right positioning um, I'm sure that I can got some dust bunnies okay so this one ended up cleaning up pretty nice um, but it was pretty messed up the way I was just looking at it could have just bent it back into place easily but whatever uh, we've got a legend of blue eyes uh, booster box this is probably the most iconic box in Yu-Gi-Oh! It's the first set that ever came out. No, it is not a first edition, um, but it is still really, really great set. You've got Blue Eyes White Dragon, five pieces of Exodia. Hard to beat. Hard to beat. Uh, number two of the sets was Metal Raiders. This one actually is in great shape. So we've got a Metal Raiders booster box. You've got... Um, Red Eyes Black Skull Dragon right there. And you've got him on the side as well. You've got Barrel Dragon right there. Pretty good stuff, pretty good stuff. You can hear uh, Aspen crawling around back there. Uh, this is one of the most iconic sets ever in Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, I think it's people's favorite, uh, notably, because there's the Dark Magician Girl. Uh, Magician's Force, or MFC, um, this is a Freaking sick stacked set. You've got Dark Paladin, which I've got those coming in as well. And you've got um, Dark Magician Girl. I mean, those are huge. Uh, it's just a beautiful box with that red pinkish uh, hue on there. And you've got Paladin and I'm forgetting what, uh, was that Breaker? Is that the Breaker of the Magician? I'm not entirely sure. Um, well, let's keep moving. Uh, we've got Pharaoh's Servant, good old PSV. This is in great shape. Now, I'm pretty sure you can buy the reprinted boxes sealed for like 800 bucks. So, one would probably beg to ask, why even pay $10 a box when you can just get the sealed box? Well, because I don't want to buy a bunch of sealed boxes. It's going to be thousands of dollars to accomplish that. Um, Invasion of Chaos, another one of the super OP sets. You've got... Um, You've got env Envoy of Beginning, uh, Blackluster Soldier, or Envoy of the End. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Um, and then, of course, you've got the uh, Chaos Magician. I'm not even sure if that's entirely right. My I'm running on E right now. But I have this card. I'm just blanking out right now. Um, anyways, it is one of the most iconic cards in this set. Um IOC, Invasion of Chaos. That box is in pretty decent shape. Um, Magic Ruler, I think reprinted, this was called Spell Ruler, um, but Magic Ruler is definitely the OG name for it. This box is in really good shape. You've got Relinquished in the background. Um, one thing that's different about the Yugi boxes is that it's not just the cards on the front. You've got Yugi, the character, on the front of all these boxes. Um, then we've got Dark Crisis, 
Really important, one of the last sets. You've got Exodian Necros on there, really cool, and it's in great shape. No complaints there. Um, man, this is such a cool box. Uh, Labyrinth of Nightmare. This is a really cool box. Uh, it's purple, it looks badass, and you've got, the, uh, you've got a mask behind him. Uh, this was a set that featured all these Mask Beast cards. Uh, you've got um, Exodia, uh, or um, Dark Necrofear. Sorry, I'm blanking out. Dark Necrofear on the side there. And, oh my god, this guy. I pulled this card. I am forgetting what this guy was called. Some like kind of cyborg-looking figure. It's a fusion card, but I can't remember exactly what that card was. Um, oh, god. And then, let's see, in these little boxes, I don't even know why these are in here. They literally, they're, they're, they're meaningless to me personally. Um, I don't know if they're even worth anything, but the Jaden, Jaden, uh, Duelist pack, I'm not sure if those are worth anything, but whatever. Um, Chaz Princeton, I mean, in the newer, the GX series, uh, Jaden Yugi and ja and Chaz Princeton were definitely yeah Yu-Gi-Oh GX first edition uh, duelist pack um, six cards per pack thirty packs per box okay so these were actually booster boxes I think I think oh, sorry guys I think these were the types of booster boxes they had where they had thirty packs um, not sure who's on the front there but we've definitely got the armed dark armed dragon on this one or at least I think that's who that is I know it's an armed dragon. Um, we've got some boxes we can reuse. It just seems like endless boxes in this one. I'm um, not sure why these were boxed separately. I don't know if they're worth more. Oh, yeah. Cool. First edition. We got, I didn't even look. Oh, geez, guys. Invasion of Chaos, first edition. Some of these, oh, Pharaoh's Servant, first edition. Labyrinth of Nightmare, first edition. Um, yes, yeah, so this is Ancient Sanctuary, first edition. You've got AST on there. Um, Magician's Forces First Edition, Dark Crisis First Edition, uh, Metal Raiders is not First Edition. That's all good. I do need that in this set. Uh, Magic Rulers First Edition. Um, those are the only ones I really cared about. I wish The Legend of Blue Eyes was a First Edition, but whatever. The Legacy of Darkness is a First Edition, which would definitely explain why the box was beatered, uh, battered. Uh, Rise of Destiny was a first edition. So, wow, there's actually a good bit of first edition boxes here. Very cool. $260. Man, you cannot, you cannot screw up here. Um, and then, of course, we've got the Buster Blader on Pharaoh's Servant. That just looks badass. Um, all right, so I'm guessing we have another first edition mint condition box in here. It is a first edition. It's one of those newer sets. Uh, Cyber Dark Impact. Now, these boxes are not all that important to me. I'm really only interested in the OG sets. Um, we've got something going on here. I'm not sure what else they could have crammed in here. It looks like I got everything um, I paid for. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Uh, that would be 16, 17, 18. Oh my God, there's still going to be more because there's like 27 boxes, I think. I'm not sure if that's counting the GX stuff. Um, and the, um, the master collection stuff, but let's just find out. Um, yeah, 16, 17, 18. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We got more stuff. We got more stuff here. Um, this is such a cool, this is such a cool delivery for sure. Uh, first edition soul of the duelist. You've got Horus, the black flame dragon on there. It doesn't show anything else. But you've got Horus on there. Uh, these are really, really cool. This stack is getting high. You can almost, uh, you can almost see it. Um, you've got Pharaonic Fer Guardian. I did say that right. Uh, and it's a first edition box. Very cool. Uh, I'm forgetting what. Uh, oh, uh, Helio Palmer. It's like that's how you say that name. He's like all messed up looking. Um, and then you've got the Guardian Sphinx on there. It's pretty cool. Um, Definitely older. 
Oh, cool. Dark Revelation Volume 2. You've got uh, Chaos Sorcerer Magician. I think, I'm not sure what that's called. You've got the Blacklister Soldier, Envoy of the, the Beginning, or Envoy of the End. Um, and then you've got Anubis on there. It's a really shiny, beautiful box. Yeah, these are getting too high. All right, let's stack these over here. Um, we've got Dark Revelation Volume 1. Got like all the OG sets now. Now I can say that I have all the OG sets, which is pretty much why I made this purchase, just to be able to say that I have all the original boxes. Um, we've got Dark Beginning 2, which means I'm guessing Dark Beginning 1 is coming up soon. You've got Celtic Guardian on there. You've got Gaia, the Fierce Knight. Uh, you've Oh, you've got Time Wizard over here hanging out. Yep, Dark Beginning 1, and I don't think there's any extras in here guys, uh, but a lot of this stuff is first edition, which is pretty cool. Um, this one and the other one, the dark beginnings are not first edition. I'm not sure if they made a first edition, but uh, yeah, here's dark beginning one, dark beginning two. Uh, definitely cool to add to my collection. And unlike Pokemon that I've spent thousands of dollars, overall thousands of dollars trying to track down all these boxes and get them in my collection, for 260 bucks, I was able to make, well, I was able to make one, one bulk purchase of all these booster boxes. Pretty cool. That's probably going to end up looking upside down in the video. So sorry. Um, and is there anything in here? No, they really packaged the crap out of that. Anyways, guys, that is a wrap. This was a big booster box delivery. Um, Wrapping up Pokemon Mystery Mail Day, number 59. Look out for the 60th video coming soon. Um, uh, I hope you guys are loving all the content I'm making. I'm trying to get as much stuff done as I can and get stuff reviewed as it comes in. Um, anyways, guys, peace out. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. Deuce, deuce.